Hello, welcome to my guided tour of my chapel. The chapel is this building just on the other side of the boat with a rather messy asbestos roof and uh, there's a, a little window there and the door and the little whippy dogs there. So I approached the, the door of the chapel and uh, um, here we are go through here and right here on the right is the lady altar uh, with the veiled uh, cross and the veiled statue of Our Lady of Walsingham uh, just to, just so you can see I'll just let the veil so you can see the statue of Our Lady of Walsingham uh, so going a little further uh, bookshelf here of various liturgical books and uh, chant books and all sorts of things. Uh, I didn't have enough veils for all the images so, so I just left the ones at the back of the chapel. Here's the cope I'm going to use for Palm Sunday uh, and I go on here. Another bookshelf here with uh, various uh, Missiles, books, uh, breviaries, um, various bits and pieces, and I'll open. I'll open up here. Uh, altar cards for the uh, uh, for the um, English missal. Uh, uh, a pair of a pair of cruets, a little bell, a ciborium. And this paintbrush is what I use for the washing of the altars on uh, Monday, Thursday, after the stripping of the altar. Down below here, uh, I have a pontifical and, a f uh, and uh, some, some chant books for the use of sarum, including what I'm going to use for Holy Week. A little table, a little, a little table that serves for various bits and pieces. Uh, a couple of veiled, a veiled icon and a veiled statue. And uh, here's the sacristy. I covered above the vestment press. Those are the uh, passion tide vestments. Uh, this uh, tabernacle, this is what I made as a tabernacle. I now use it for the holy oils. Uh, and uh, and I, also, I also have uh, uh, little things to carry the Blessed Sacrament to uh, if I have to go and visit a sick person. Uh, here's um, the uh, corporals. Uh, um, purificators and uh, and uh, lavabo towels. Uh, nice little crucifix there. Uh, vesting prayers uh, of the use of serum and a uh, cross to which I incline before going. Uh, here was a cupboard with. Uh, uh, those are the uh, things for the Christmas crib, uh, altar cloths, and all the things you can see here uh, in front, including my my old uh, Beretta from my seminary days. Uh, this is the the Sarah Mordo that I use, and I also have for comparison the Ordo calendar which is issued each year by the Anglican Catholic Church. Uh, a monstrance uh, there and uh, uh, a number of copes, uh, albs, cassocks. Up above is the Christmas crib and a pair of loudspeakers from a stereo uh, set. Um, this blowtorch, which I call Blow Lampus Liturgicus, which is used, which I use for lighting charcoals and for the uh, 
for the Easter fire uh, for the uh, on Holy Saturday. Various bits and pieces, wine and water, and uh, the necessaries for preparing charcoals for when I use incense, candles, various things here. That's uh, the crucifix I'll be u I use for for Good Friday, and this is what I made as a stand so that the so that this wooden crucifix will stand up. So we'll go a little further. Uh, that's back from where we came. The the uh, the, uh, the door, uh, the lady altar, and up here is the rude screen. The rood which is uh, which is veiled, uh, together with statues of Our Lady and St Edward, which I bought um, from Westminster Abbey many many years ago. Um, I'm going to put some lights on because it's a bit gloomy. <coughs> Here we are, and so uh, we go under the rood screen, and uh, there's the the high altar. Uh, there is the hanging pigs, uh, and the, I have a system, not unlike a, a halyard of a boat, for uh, lowering and raising the uh, the uh, the hanging pegs so that I can uh, remove the blessed sacrament or change the blessed sacrament uh, at certain times of the year. Um, choir stalls here. Uh, the bishop's throne, which has been sat in once by my diocesan bishop. Uh, those are the arms of uh, the diocese of the United Kingdom of the Anglican Catholic Church. I don't know if it'll come into focus. There we are, you just see part of it. That's the sanctuary lamp. Veiled statues. That's the that's Our Lady. Uh, this is St. Therese of the Child Jesus. Uh, St. Joseph is there. We have an icon of St. Matthew. Uh, this one here is St. Philip Neri. And here is uh, St. Rita. Uh, of course, the veils are white because this is the, uh, the, the Lenten array in the use of serum. I, uh, in the Roman Rite, uh, violet veils are used and put on from the first Vespers of Passion Sunday. Uh, but the uh, the Lenten array is uh, from the first Sunday of Lent. Um, there's the credence table with the uh, with the with the missal stand, uh, a little booklet that I use for the order of the mass, and uh, the Sarah missal in the Greg edition uh, that I managed to find second hand some years ago. A little bell and uh, the the credence table which i made in my workshop uh, there's the theorable stand uh, the theorable it's actually an eastern an eastern orthodox theorable which is much lighter than most western theorables i also have another theorable uh, which i'll show you now uh, which is uh, at, uh, at the at the back of the chapel it's a much uh, it's a much heavier one it's a French durable uh, with very long chains, very Gallican. And uh, so I'll go back into the chapel. Uh, um, and that is the Cedilia, which is a, a rather nice piece that I found at the Marché aux Puces in Paris uh, towards the end of the last century. And uh, it's, a nice, uh, it's, a, it's a nice piece of furniture and it's... Uh, I occasionally sit on it uh, when there are, um, when uh, for certain occasions. Uh, this the choir stalls on the other side. I made the choir stalls. This is an old organ bench uh, with uh, cut down. Uh, it's actually the the organ bench that went with the organ in my house because I built a new bench for it. Um, and looking up, 
towards the the rude screen uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of light from the uh, from the main chandelier but that's the back of the uh, the crucifix and on the on this side of the crucifix there's another statue of our lady of Walsingham. it's a very german custom in churches with rude screens is to have a little statue of our lady on the back of the crucifix facing the uh, facing the choir and uh, the uh, the roof is made of uh, the ceiling is made from wooden lats with uh, with some uh, white paint on this is uh, uh, which has uh, it gives quite a nice finish and i put some insulation up there uh, i did the whole place myself the floor is uh, is is tiled it's concreted and tiled um, oh, and this is a little. Uh, this is the lectern, which is used for various uh, things, either for preaching or for uh, for for readings, or uh, for for the chant. Uh, for example, the uh, the exalted, uh, with the um, the pastoral candle. Uh, some of you might wonder about about the pastoral candle. There it is. That's the that, this is last year's pastoral candle. I'll be. Uh, I've got. I've got a candle. I'll be uh, uh, drawing the cross and painting it red in, in the middle. I'll need to do that in the next week or so. And this is the the candlestick for the uh, for the Paschal candle. So that's uh, that's uh, that's just about all. Um, so we. Let's say a little prayer uh, together before leaving the chapel. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.